Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Leather Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1, and I'm going to be showcasing a build that probably most of you guys already know, but I'm a little bit late to the party in terms of the meta of Season 10 and Mages. Um, but nevertheless, I'm just going to be showing it anyway. So basically what you want to do is you want to pick any mage that can spam abilities, like just chuck them out there. So God's like, Disco or Morgan or Hebo, like Anubis is okay. Chunga is okay. Their cooldowns are a little bit long, but you know, at level 20, when you get more cooldown online, they're better. Um, I'm going to do it with, I could do it with Tiamat actually. I haven't played a Tiamat game in a while. I'm down. I'm down. Wow. That's loud. Not loud for you guys. It's just loud for me. Um, okay, cool. <coughs> so I'm fighting a diamond border Hades. Willy Derpy Derp. I fought this guy the other day. I'm pretty sure, right? I'm not delusional. All right, so basically, you're going to start the same way that you always start. You're going to go into a relic of your choice, and you're going to go Horn Shard, because Horn Shard is OP. Just gonna get one point in everything real quick. I think I kind of want to go Cloak of Meditation because I should be able to jump in and out of Hades Alt with my three, whether I'm jumping into my ground form or out of my ground form. So I should be okay to do it regardless. Um, Obviously, I want to get my three here. I want to pick it up so I can get two buffs. Maybe I can steal a red buff. I don't know. It's it'll it'd be rare, but you never know. Um, but yeah, basically this build is very simple. It's Book of Thoth into Genji's into Soul Gem because you know Soul Gem is OP. Oh wow! I actually cleared. Look at that. Honk. A little bit of drive-by damage on him. Why not? The cooldowns are very long. Yeah, Soul Gem has a bit of cooldown on it. Um, obviously, Genji's has some cooldown on it. I'm not going to clear using these abilities, so I just wanted to do whatever poke I could on him there. And actually, I'm gonna use my med. And I'm going to use my Horn Shard. Get my cooldowns back as soon as I can. And I have spread the wave out just enough to where he is having an uncomfortable time. Big stun, big jump. All right. He uses his shell, so I'm not going to spam all my abilities on him. I'm going to consider that a success. Getting that shell out for free, basically. Then I'm just going to very slowly auto attack this buff down because I want to eat it with my one. And the reason I want to eat it with my one is because... I don't have to actually pick it up, which means I can turn into what is it, what is it called? The, the magical form. I don't know the not ground version of Tiamat and get the blue buff a little bit easier. Your middle tower is under attack. Hopefully he's not here and he's going to yoink this because that would be devastating for me. Perfect. We got two buffs. By the way, I have not said this, I think, in quite some time. But there's, in my in my opinion, you shouldn't be picking up red buff as a mage early game. I think mages pretty much exclusively want blue buff. It's 10% cooldown, and it's the mana regen, so it's just good overall. But anyways, back to the build. Basically... It's Book of Thoth into a defensive item, either Breastplate or Genji's, depending on who you're fighting. Into Soul Gem. Into um, a Divine. Again, kind of depends on who you're fighting. You can go anything you want, really. This is fine. I'm okay with this. I didn't think he would ult me there because I figured he knew that he couldn't kill me. But, you know, getting an ult is fine by me. I'll take it. A freebie ult. If you will. Get them stackies. Perfect. 
And I can actually start using my alt. I forgot about using my alt. I forgot that that's something that's like viable now. Oh, nice. I'll place that down so he wins. And then, uh, yeah, he'll jump in, take a lot of damage, and have to run away again. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I assume the treasure chests are over here. They're not. Oh, my God. They're not even on the map right now. My dude's got XP down. What are the stacks looking like? He's one ahead of me. Not for long. Not for long. He does have tier two defense. Wait, that's tier one. Tier one defense doesn't scare me. Actually, I'm not scared of him at, like at all at the moment. Let me turn up my sound a little bit. There we go. I assume we're just gonna like be bros about this. He didn't want to be a bro about it. Slowly auto you down. Bonk up an auto attack. I'll throw an alt on there. Why not? I'm gonna all I'm gonna eat this buff. Use my med. Yeah. Well, I'm not able to get a kill there, but this healing is just a bit too much. But it's okay because I ate the red buff, so I still get the buff itself. And I'm hoping I can get my blue. I don't know where he is. But I'm going to assume that my blue is free. I got 36 stacks. He's got 40. He's keeping up really well, but my late game, I think, is going to be better. Unless he also uses this build. But I don't expect Hades to be very good with Soul Gem. You did your blue. I'm looking for the chests now, boys. Alright, my, my guesstimate is that chests are right here and here. So I'm going to push this wave really hard. And then try to go get that chest. See if it's even up. It is up. Uh, I lose the XP camp to get two chests. Probably not worth it. I'll be honest. Proc is Genji's right, right now. Nice. You do approximately no damage to me. Approximately nothing of you that I'm afraid from. Mm, he also takes no damage, if I'm honest. <laughs> like, he's pretty darn tanky. You detonate, I clear. Hello? I am comfortable with this. I am at the moment comfortable. Uh, I don't know if I'm that comfortable right now, actually. Because he's going to ult my ass. The last thing I want him to do is ult me and this buff. Unless, of course, I have a way out. Yeah, unfortunate. I didn't. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. Damn. A 
That's unfortunate for me. I waited a bit too long to back. Actually, I waited really long to back. I think my last back was level 6. It was level 6 when I got Book of Thoth, and I'm level 12 now. Pretty redonkulous. Put the extra minions down while I'm coming out of base. This build is definitely more like you gotta you gotta get to the soul gem at the very least in order for it to be decent. So we're like en route for it being good. I got a lot of gold. So I'm just going to clear this wave and back. He also does have... Well, I was going to say double lifesteal. But technically, one of them is just straight up healing. Alright. So let's go back. You can poly auto it all you want. I don't care. Now I have my soul gem. And it is time to start smacking. Next item is obviously going to be divine. And then probably mirrored in obsidian shard. That sounds pretty good to me. It's like we're trading blows for no reason at the moment. <laughs> There's nothing actually happening here. Hmm. Oh, my thing didn't go off. Oh. Perfect. He missed his three. Perfect. Hmm. I find it interesting that I actually ended up being okay in that fight. And the reason I find it interesting is because I was losing that miserably for a while. I don't know where he went. I guess he just backed, but I didn't expect him to. Good stuff. All right, now I got my buff up. Um, divine is an extra hundred gold, so I would like to, to wait for that. Just poly autoing my shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my all didn't go off. Damn. All right, I cringed. I cringed. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Your hmm. middle phoenix is under attack. And that Hades ult does so much damage still. A thousand damage. Your middle phoenix has been destroyed. All right. This definitely is not how this should be going right now. I'm still confident I'm going to win the game. If I just like 
am more patient with my jump. But uh, I definitely shouldn't be this far behind, that's for sure. Nice. All right, that was really good for me. That was really, really quite good for me. Nice. Soul Gem just doing its thing, healing me up a little bit. I appreciate it. Um, I don't have poly, so I don't take this very quick, huh? I don't know. Use my one. Maybe help me take this. My main focus is obviously not taking tower. It's getting the red buff. And I did get the red buff now. Uh, I would like Staff of Mirrodin. A little too expensive. I also want Shard, which is also too expensive. So I guess I'm just going to go tier 2 mirrored in here. I'm going to place my one down again. I got to clear the wave, unfortunately. I do want to go for my blue buff. Oh, jeez, Louise. That's good. Me. Oh, that's not good. Actually, that's fine. All right. He died for no reason. He died for literally no reason because any damage he just did to my Titan is uh, completely irrelevant. My Phoenix is spawning right now, so I'm completely fine, which is great for me. Again, like I said, this build needs a little bit of time to ramp up. A little bit of time to ramp up, but once it's ramped, like you're you're chilling. You are actually chilling. I'm gonna do this and then just jump on him. Do some big damage. Make sure I just get the bull demon. And I back it up, baby. I back it up and I I start that shard, that tier two shard for an extra five percent pen. Honestly, I should go Spear of Magus instead of Shard, I think. That might even be better. I'm actually okay with this ult because I think I outtrade him in his own ult. Gonna place that there. I don't know where he is. To be honest, I'm a little spooked. Alright. He's not here. Perfect. Let's go back. Let's go back. I really want one of these upgrades before I start fighting. So I'm gonna go for the spear here. Magus gives me 10% pen. Um, Spear gives me 10%. Or I'm sorry. Mirrodin gives me 10%. Spear gives me 10%. So I think I'm okay here. I do think I'm okay here for now. Ooh. Good damage. Don't know where he went. I'm 
Oh, he was just hanging out there. Just waiting, vibing. Biden is biding his time. Yeah, not much you can do about that, my guy. Really not much you can do about that. Did he get this red buff? Oh, he didn't. That means it's all me. Just got to make sure I eat it. Thank you. I'm telling you, man. Also, the fact that I get that much healing whenever one of my minis dies is kind of nuts. Here's Blink. I remember you having Blink. Don't worry. That didn't catch me off guard. Is your blue buff up? It's not, unfortunately. Mm. I feel like it's not worth it for him to do that. Or maybe it is because I don't have Polly. Oh, I definitely should have ran out. I might die here. I'm in dead here. I definitely should have ran out when I was ulting. I forgot that I could, to be completely honest with you. I forgot that I was allowed to move while ulting. Because <laughs> it is CC immune. And I just didn't utilize it. That's an oopsie on me. He can probably take Phoenix. I mean, he's got Polly. And apparently it does 200 damage. Uh, Be careful here. Okay. He shelled for it. That's fine. That's fine. I still like my build better. Actually, I don't know if I would like my build better with Polly. Instead of, um... What is it called? Spear? Magus? Like, I don't know which one I like more. I don't know. We'll have to see. He went to red buff. He's running for Titan. Damn. He actually dashed away from that. Or blinked away from it, I mean. Alright. Oh, I can't pick this up. That's such a doofus thing. I really wanted that, but on Fort. It's fine. So his blink and his shell should be down. Though I will say my beads are down. I don't know which one I'd rather be. A down beadser or a down blinker. Come on. Come on. That took far too long. He has so many cooldowns. So many cooldowns. Come 
Come on. Come on. Get that minion. Let's go. It's, I don't know if I can actually get this Phoenix. Every time I die, he always gets my wave. Oh, no. I definitely got the Phoenix. Okay, cool. Oh, my Phoenix is back up, too. I didn't even know my Phoenix was back up already. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy and I got the beads up. Say less, bro. Oof, close. Close. Oh shit. I am deceased. Oh god. Man, that cooldown is nuts. It's like the Genji's proc. What what's this cooldown at? Only 20%. I guess 30% because 500 pot. I did clear his wave, so it's not like he can really. Actually, I guess he could just ult my Titan, probably. Is he just going to ult my Titan? Hmm. Yeah, he just wins off that, doesn't he? Oh, I can't even watch. Okay, well. I don't know. GG, I guess.